Hey everyone, Derek here with Fire Emblem Three Houses, and I want to actually show off Garig Mach Monastery because it plays a pretty major role in this game. It's a pretty big place and it kind of changes and evolves as you go throughout the year. So I only have about five minutes to really show this thing off, so we're just gonna go ahead and give a look. And actually, real quick, we're just gonna give you a whole layout. Like, I haven't even unlocked the third floor yet, but you can see where each of the characters are, each of the facilities are, and actually even fast travel th through them as well. But we're gonna just go ahead and uh, do a little quick thing here. So we're just uh, gonna go through the training grounds, and this is our tournament organize uh, organizer, where we can uh, take place in different tournaments and um, fight one-on-one -on -one to try to get uh, special rewards uh, each Hello. month. And we're just gonna run down here. Like, you can run around and check things out up here, even though there's not really a lot. Uh, I've already explored this pre previously, so there's nothing really to pick up, but you can find uh, other items and lost items that you can return to characters. Uh, we're passing by the common dorms uh, right now. Uh, but yeah, you can give them to other characters and uh, get little bonuses with uh, your supports, uh, stuff like that, and you can see just everybody hanging out sure. and around. Um, so let's, we're going to go down to one of our other facilities, which yeah. is the greenhouse, where you can actually plant different uh, seeds that you find uh, and give them a little boost. And then you get some cultivation where you can you then use that for yes, uh, cooking and whatnot. Uh, likewise, we can go over here to the fish keeper, which I will show really quick, and uh, just do some fishing. We're just going to do simple insect larva. And you just wait for a fish to show up. Got a, right there we got a red one which is a large fish and basically you just want to try to hit it in the purple line and that'll wear down the health of the fish and if you do well you could even get bonuses so there we go and it also increase your professor level which in, uh, allows you access to other aspects uh, let's go ahead and run over here to the south end and there's always somebody new to talk to, but this is where we can buy weapons, uh, forge better weapons, uh, hire our battalions, and get other items. I've also done a mission where I've unlocked uh, the ability to buy uh, just other kind of merchant stuff, such as ingredients and whatnot, um, and check all that out. We've got our main entryway here with our entrance hall, and if we split off to the left, here's the mess hall, where we can... Uh, either have food with everybody uh, or actually make food and uh, give a little bonus such as like more defense, more attack, more magic for that month. So you can sort of decide and as your professor level increases you can do more uh, with each month. So we go over here, this will be the stables, not really a whole lot going on that you can do yourself but it gives you an idea of uh, you know where people like to hang out and what they do. And if we head this way, we can actually head to kind of the church itself. And what the lovely thing about it is, if you look up here, like there's Pegasus Knights just hanging out, like uh, not really doing much. You can see dogs and cats wandering around, delivery owls uh, sending out messages and stuff like that, uh, which is always pretty cool. Another little activity you can do is that you can go to the counselor and try to answer people's problems. They'll have a little thing uh, like, hey, I'm worried about this. Yeah. Well, you can try this and that'll actually increase your support with them. Same for the choir. You can have uh, spend some time and uh, have a choir festival with some of the other characters. And, uh, oh, here we go. Here's another item. So we can find somebody who enjoys baking and give them that. We can actually increase our uh, uh, support with them. Uh, well, there's a wyvern knight over there. A couple more people wandering around. But uh, let's go back over this way. And show off one other aspect, which is our uh, saints, which if we pray to them, we can actually increase how much we get um, See you again soon. Uh, bonuses and stuff like that, which uh, you get through Renown, which you do through side quests that pop up each month uh, here. So we're just going to take a quick look at the second floor just to show off the rest. Can't really do much of that. This is basically where the um, Archbishop hangs out and uh, you can talk to them or other people. And this is also where the other teachers are hanging out uh, with their, their rooms. Uh, you can take a look in there. Um, 
or you can head over to the library, which will be our final stop for this quick look at the Garrick Mock Monastery, which, as you can tell, is quite a bit big. Like, me go doing a full exploration of this each month takes about um, an hour <laughs> to go through, talk to everybody, uh, do side quests, stuff like that. It's, it's pretty meaty, and there's always a bunch to do. But, yeah, that is the Garrick Mock Monastery. And just wanted to give you a quick little tour of what you can expect in the full game of Fire Emblem Three Houses. So let us know what you think in the comments below, and of course be sure to subscribe to Game Explained for more on Fire Emblem and other things gaming as well. Until next time, bye!